what's up y'all i'm just gonna get started into this video i don't feel like doing a whole intro we're just gonna talk about stuff so today i'm gonna be talking about my health journey i'm gonna be telling you guys about how i'm getting my help my help how i'm getting my body up to optimal health and how i gained like 10 pounds because you guys know gaining weight has been like the struggle of my life um and that is currently what's happening with me i mean my, my journey is not all about gaining weight so first of all this is not a weight gain journey this is an optimal health journey and what i mean by optimal health is i just want my body to be in the best health possible it's not like i felt like th that because i'm skinny i'm not healthy but you know, there was a point in time where I was like, okay, I've been the same size since the sixth grade. I kind of want something. I kind of want to know if what my body is doing is right um, and if something's missing and if there's anything that I can add to my routine, my daily routine, the way that I eat, my lifestyle. If I can add to it to make it better, why wouldn't I want to do that? So a lot of people have the question, why are you on this health journey? Why are you deciding to do this health journey what triggered this um and what what caused you to go the route that you are going on currently because i'm becoming an adult and i'm, I'm having to learn how to take care of myself learn how to cook for myself learn how to sh grocery shop and buy my own food and and take care of myself and my husband um and my dog <laughs> taking care of all three of us and kind of just like seeing what is what is good to do and what's not good to do figuring everything out on my own I've realized that I can't play this guessing game just guessing what's healthy and what's not um I really wanted to know what was right for me because what I was doing wasn't working before I moved I was of course living in Texas with my family I was living with my parents um and my brothers and you know I was just used to eating whatever I wanted. Um, I just figured that I was supposed to be skinny and I have a high metabolism and I can eat whatever I want. That was always my mentality. Um, so when I was at home, I was eating a lot more because I was living with my family. Um, I wasn't grocery shopping for myself. I wasn't really taking care of myself by myself. You know what I'm saying? There were other people who were kind of keeping me accountable and I was used to my surroundings. Once I got married and I had to become an adult and live life without everything that I know, being around new people, being in a new state, um, being in different weather conditions, having a different routine, having to take care of somebody else. It took a toll on me. Um, the first year wasn't that bad, but as time progressed, it just kind of became more apparent that, okay, I'm my own adult now, I gotta make my own decisions, and I have to take care of myself accordingly. Um, and I, did, I didn't have an experience with that. I didn't have any experience with being, being so, isolated i guess you can say all of these things just started causing me a lot of overwhelmed stress and anxiety type stuff you know being transparent with you guys last year i went through a lot mentally i wasn't healthy i was beating myself up a lot i was just not feeling good about myself my confidence levels were really really low um and because of that my eating habits were terrible even though i tried working out at the beginning of the year i tried working out and trying to do all this fitness stuff to kind of like get my body back to health but it wasn't helping i fell off of my working out i just started not taking care of myself like i should you know i used to get made fun of all the time about being way too skinny like guys would tell me that if i was bigger they would like me if i was thick then i would be fine you know or whatever but that kind of stuff never really got to me until i got older and it started kind of coming back all those thoughts about you know how people think of me and how people perceive me and then being on the internet all the time kind of affected my confidence a little bit too so i was a little worried about it i was worried about you know my body i was worried that i wasn't normal that something was wrong with me because i'm already in the mindset of beating myself up and not feeling good enough now i have this health issue where i basically am naturally controlling birth i mean i did i'm not i've never been on birth control before but i'm assuming that's what birth control does actually from 2015 all the way up until this year i didn't have a period at all so you know talking with my doctor my OBGYN and stuff i was asking her i was like is it normal for me to not have a period like am i okay is everything okay and they're like yeah you probably just need to gain a few pounds yeah you probably just aren't eating enough i don't mind talking about this now because i'm kind of over it and it's not it doesn't really bother me as much anymore so i feel like i can say this um but because you know people want me to have a baby so bad and they're like pressuring me 
I knew that I couldn't. I didn't have a period and my body just wasn't doing the normal things that it's supposed to do. That was also beating me up. I don't feel good enough as a woman, as a wife. I was just really beating myself up, really, really bad. To the point where, like I wasn't eating, I was basically starving myself. I would like work all day, I'd be on my computer all day and wouldn't take a second to eat something. And so then by the time six o'clock hit, I haven't eaten a meal all day. I scarf down a whole loaf of bread thinking that's gonna fill me up until I eat some real dinner. Um, and it was just terrible. It was like my, I was, I was doing so much damage to myself just because of the way I felt about myself, because of the way that I was talking to myself. Nobody, nobody was doing this to me but me. I mean, of course, there are people on the internet who are negative and say things about me all the time. Whatever, I don't care about them. It wasn't even really them, it was me. And it starts in my mind. You know, there were a series of things that happened that kind of helped me to get back on track. Um, you know, a lot of people reaching out to me and, you know, basically God was sending me messages this whole time, you know, trying to help me out of this funk that I was in. At the beginning of this year, I said, okay, something's got to change. I kind of changed around the end of last year once I got Gigi. That helped out a lot because it wasn't like I was just sitting around the house wallowing in the mud, staring at the ceiling, thinking about how much I suck. Um, so taking care of her has helped out a lot, but... Um, you know, at the beginning of this year, at the turn of this year, I said, I'm gonna do better. I'm gonna take care of myself. I'm gonna eat right. I'm gonna really stop beating myself up, not be so hard on myself. I'm going to put forth the effort to take care of myself the way that I know I should be taken care of because I am not a hot mess all the time. I'm a queen, black excellence. Finally decided that I'm going to seek professional help to figure out exactly what my body needs because up until this point I've done I've I've kind of went through my own efforts to figure out what it is that my body needs, you know what's going on with me, but obviously talking with my OBGYNs and you know consulting with them, they never really gave me concrete answers because they specialize in vaginas. They don't specialize in nutrition. They can't tell me what to eat to make my body do right. So, I ended up seeking a holistic approach. Um, my dad knows a holistic doctor and he recommended me and referred me to her. So I contacted her in March and it's been glorious ever since. So, um, so we kind of set some goals and then we figured out what it was that kind of seemed like the problem. She had me do a blood test and a, send in a hair sample. All of my minerals are depleted. These are the levels that you're supposed to be at. And as you can see, all of my bars are low except for two and that's calcium and magnesium. But everything else, my sodium, potassium, iron, copper, manganese, zinc, chromium, selenium, phosphorus, I have none, okay? There is nothing in my body, in my system. There's nothing for my body to work off of, to work with, for my hormones to be regular and for my body to do the things that it needs to do. So getting to optimal health, getting to these ideal levels, is what we're trying to get at. My body is in the resistance stage of stress. This stage of stress is best described as an endless battle where the body is attempting to contain the stress as it's unable to eliminate it. Resistance stage of adaptation can go on for a long period of time in effort to limit and minimize the stress. So the body still has some energy reserves available to resist it, but it's a little bit less than what is ideal. I have weak adrenal gland activity. My adrenals shot. And this can be due to chronic stress and nutritional deficiencies, fear, or other stress-related factors. Um, may contribute to symptoms of fatigue, exhaustion, depressed mood swings, and PMS or menopausal symptoms. It also indicates a uh, cellular thyroid effect um, outside an optimal range. So my thyroid is off. Also contributes to fatigue, weight gain, dry skin, brittle hair, depression, tendency for infections, low body temperature, low blood pressure, low blood sugar. My body is also in a parasympathetic state. I need to balance my autonomic nervous system by not pushing myself to work too hard. I have decreased cell permeability. The entrance of hormones, glucose, and other substance into the cells is impaired. Low sodium levels, which contributes to fatigue. So my hair tissue mineral analysis also indicates tendencies for the following metabolic trends adrenal insufficiency, depression, fatigue, hypothyroidism, and inflammation. What my doctor was telling me is that inflammation can be increased by eating a lot of wheat, um, which also throws off your thyroid and things of that nature. So I've had to decrease the amount of wheat intake and my sugar levels are really, really high. So I've had to decrease the amount of sugar. And this is why I 
wanted to stress that it's important to know what your body needs before you start doing stuff that you see other people doing because I was going to start taking a pediment like I was I had a pediment in my cart I was going to order it and I was going to do the pediment route to gain weight right it would have been very unhealthy for me now I don't know about other people but it would have been very unhealthy for me to start taking that not knowing that my levels were so bad like I already have fatigue but to add those symptoms on top of that with a a supplement that's probably not even meant for me to take that would have been bad along with um, some supplements I do have to take supplements one of them is a vitamin D supplement because I don't have any vitamin D anymore it's the North Pole up here and we get limited Sun during the winter time and I stay in the house a lot during the winter time so seasonal depression is a real thing it actually affects your health and I do have to take a um, scoop of this nutritional powder it's kind of like protein powder but it has all these like amino acids and healthy stuff in it my doctor also gave me some ways that I can help with um, dealing with stress and dealing with um, anxiety and being overly stimulated by everything that I do um, being overwhelmed so I have those here I can talk about ways to relieve stress in another video I'm not gonna talk about that in this video along with relieving stress and taking my supplements I have had to change my diet completely basically what I eat now is a whole foods diet this is the book that my doctor recommended that I recommended that I get um, and there's a list in here that contains all of the foods that I can actually eat. Um, so this is the list. Uh, it's from the Simply Valley. It's taken straight out of the book, but it's a long list. I mean, there's a lot of stuff on here, so it's not like I can't eat anything. So basically it has all of the vegetables, all of the fruits and berries and nuts and seeds and flowers and breads and poultry and meats and grains and pastas and butters and pretty much everything. And it's basically just whole food, organic food. Like there are not a lot of fruits on here that I eat regularly and that's because a lot of the fruits that we eat have a lot of sugar in them. It just kind of helps you to be more aware of the things that you're eating and making sure that you're eating wholesome ingredients. I usually take this list with me. I have it on my phone and I take this list with me to the grocery store and I make sure that everything that I buy is on this list um, or it has ingredients that are on this list. Now I, I can vary from the list. I don't have to eat directly off of it all the time because I do cheat on the weekends. For during the week, I try to eat as whole as possible. So I've been buying a lot of organic stuff, a lot of healthy stuff that has this stuff in it. I don't eat any gluten during the week. I'm cutting out gluten for the most part. I've been doing this since March and the results that I have gotten is that one, I have way more energy way more energy throughout the day. I don't experience headaches and fatigue. Um, when I get hungry, I've gained almost 10 pounds. So before I started this, I was about 98 pounds. Now I weigh around 108, 107, 108, depends on the, on the time of the month. Also with the time of the month, I get my period every single month now, it's regular. Um, and I get the symptoms and everything, girl. Not excited about it, but you know. As far as stress goes, I'm not, as stressed i still do experience a little bit of being overwhelmed but when i practice the right ways to relieve my stress then i don't experience it as much you know i try to read some scriptures i lay on my back pull my feet up chill out play some playstation games i bought some coloring books but honestly i feel so much better about myself i can tell that i've gained a little bit of weight my skin is looking nice I feel healthier, my body is healthier. All around, I'm way more zen, like I'm more chill. I'm still a little bit hard on myself, but I'm not as hard on myself. And I'm not pushing myself as much as I was either. Um, I give myself breaks, like at least once a month, I'll take a week off um, of just, and I just chill and I let my mind breathe. Yeah, um, I've been doing pretty good um, for the past six months that I've been on this little journey. Yeah, a lot of people wanna know how I gained weight and that's this is how I've been doing it. Um, just eating healthy and taking care of my body, eating enough, getting the balanced nutrition that my body actually needs and it can use. We're getting what we need and that's what optimal health is about. My grocery bill has increased, but you know what? It's worth it. Uh, when I do everything correctly, I feel much better. I will be giving you guys updates as I go along this journey. Um, I will be showing you guys some of the recipes that I like to make as far as like foods that I like to eat, snacks that I like to eat, um, things that I buy from the grocery store. I will be showing you that as well. And if you have any questions, let me know. I think I covered everything. I know this was a long video, but I wanted to give you guys the complete overall thoroughness of what's going on with me, my journey and what I'm doing. This is me. This is how I'm doing it. And, you know, I'm not saying that anybody else's way is bad or my way is better. I'm not giving you any advice. This is just what I'm doing and I wanted to express with you guys 
what's going on with me. I will talk to you guys in my next video. I hope that you guys enjoy this and I'll see you later.